All right, what's going on, guys? Today we are going to be hopping into Boss Rush 13. We're going to just absolutely obliterate it with the Super Saiyan slash uh, Warrior Legendary Existence team. Obviously, it's just a Super Saiyan base team, but if you want to get technical, the leaders are on the category for Legendary Existence. So, without further ado, let's hop right on in. Now, I think Boss Rush is one of those things where, like, it's a blessing. It's just like the freest stones that you can get. But I've had friends ask, like literally ask me like, oh, how do I beat Boss Rush? And it's like, dude, just hop in, use your best team, and you'll be done in 15 minutes. The hardest part is just knowing that it's like, just mentally just being like, oh, I have to fucking do this. Play all these stupid little Dokkan events that don't like require any skill. There's no level of thought to it. But it is worth noting that it is free stones. So, you have to count your blessings. That Dokkan is just throwing you a bone. Like, it doesn't get any freer for stones than this. Like, I'm pretty sure... What's the count? I already did this before I recorded it, because obviously, um, you know, it's one of those things, content night, where you get, like... <laughs> a super battle road stage not super battle road stages but like a new boss rush an easy A Dokkan events limited time events like for meat and stuff like that it's you're just busy and uh, I've said it before but uh, I did not have Wi-Fi for the beginning of the celebration as I was moving into a new place so I was not able to record my initial run of this boss run but <laughs> I mean what do you want me to say? Like, it's it's Boss Rush. It's it's easy. Like, I'm just going to kind of showcase me potentially one-shotting or one-turning every event or every stage of the events here. This one we definitely will because we have type advantage twice. Um, you know, we're really going to get to see, you know, two of my favorite rotations in the game at the moment with STR Vegito and Tech Gogeta and then the LR Super Saiyan Goku and the LR Super Saiyan Goku. Go on. And you will see the value of the rainbow orb changing as we keep playing this event. <laughs> because uh, you just, like, I mean, you know, you've heard other people say it before, but the, what's the word I'm looking for? Rainbow orb changers are just so damn valuable. Just, like, if you take a turn, like, this team is kind of like one of those teams that you put an asterisk on it. Because, like, you know, you see... STR Vegito and Tech Vegeta who share all seven links, then you see these two share all seven links, you're like, oh, key's not a problem. But if you're on like a, a normal, like, especially on global because there is no Tech Vegeta yet, and you just see the difference, like with no Rainbow Orb Changers and Rainbow Orb Changers all the time, you'll just see like it's it's night and day with just the 18 key, the 24 key supers you're gonna see. Like, you know, some of these units that struggle for key, like if um, Tech Janemba had a Rainbow Orb Changer around him at all times, you would really notice a difference in how many times you get his support passive and his just his overall getting super attacks with him because him and physical Janemba, as good as physical Janemba is, they don't have um what's the word I'm looking for? A I'm sorry, I'm tripping up on the words. Um Keylix. So you're seeing them sitting at six key, seven key the whole time. So, you know, it's really tough to consistently bank on getting five to six orbs in each fight. Because it's just not realistic. Like, it's so much easier to get three orbs all the time, or two orbs to get your super attack, than it is six. And then when you add on to the fact that, uh, what's it called? Tech Janemba's passive requires four type orbs of all things. Like, that's pretty rare. Like, Pycons you can get pretty often, but this Janemba's you never see that. Like, his guard makes him valuable in SBR stages that you can bring him in, but you know, you're rarely getting the passive in the difficult content, but you're just kind of relying on him being a dodger. So, or not a dodger, someone who guards rather. Mm -hmm. That's what makes Int Janemba so crazy. <laughs> it's just that he's got good defense, he dodges, he stacks, he doesn't stack, he guards, uh, gets attack buff when he's hit, all kinds of good stuff. So here we're going to have double orb changing. And just like, 
Look at that. Four rainbow orbs for him. Easy 18 key for him. Six orbs for him. As easy as that. And that's just all based off rainbow orb changing. I don't think it would have we would have been able to do like 663 like we just did, or 636, whatever it was. Like, it's just wild. Excuse me. How much easier it is these uh, or how much easier it is to get key with these rainbow orb changers. So how long have I been going on about rainbow orb changers? About three minutes now. <laughs> so you see. I think it would kind of be funny if Boss Rush just did a thing where it's like, okay, here's every Dokkan event ever. And like, okay, fuck you, have fun. <laughs> and like, they made it like, I don't know, you get 50 stones rather than 35. Because, I mean, what's wrong with a free multi at this point? Just means more people are going to pull the new units. Which is exactly what makes the game more fun. It's definitely way more fun when everybody's pulling the new units, right? Like, <laughs> unless you're a salty bitch like me, and you just get jealous. It's honestly unhealthy because then I'm like, oh, I gotta summon more, or oh, I gotta get more stones because this guy pulled three freezes in a multi, and I just fucking want one. But in the end, we ended up getting it. So fuck it. <laughs> Have you noticed we haven't had one struggle yet? I don't think we've gotten to the second turn on an enemy yet. <laughs> I mean, it's boss rush is boss rush, though. You know what I mean? You gotta know that anything, like especially with a game like this, that anything and everything is content. So, <laughs> new boss rush? You bet your ass that's content. <laughs> Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate how good this Gogeta's TUR art is? Like, honestly, for an LR, that's one of my favorite LR TUR arts, is that Gogeta one that we're looking at right now. It's just so cool. I mean, base form Gogeta is just such a good look. Like, you know how Vegito kind of has that brown hair? Gogeta just throws that away with the dark black hair. That You know, the, <laughs> the two few, you know, both those guys have black hair. I'm pretty sure Vegeta's hair in Z has some brown in it. At least in the earlier stages. I could be wrong on that, though. It's been a while. Even that has a hint of brown in it. Like, right with what we were just looking at. So three rainbow orbs. Like, you see, this rotation is just disgusting. Like, these two just, they, they just make each other so much better. It's truly a match made in heaven. Or in hell. <laughs> Oh, man. I take it these two should get them done in one turn. Or him done, rather. Ooh! <laughs> so close. And they, it's seldom they crit, so that's cool. Ouch. Okay. So now we're on to the STR portion. I think I fixed my quality issue in OBS. I think I was just trying to have my screen do too much. So what I was trying to do was uh, record with uh, what's the word I'm looking for, with the overlay on in OBS to save myself like a little bit of time in between like putting a new overlay in. So I'm like, okay, let me just throw the overlay in OBS. But I think that was making me mess with the size too much of the video. Like, you know, usually what you don't see in my videos is you don't see the what I'm looking at OBS right now is my time and my battery on the iPhone and then that little line for the home screen or to get to the home screen. Obviously I crop that out when I'm editing. So I was trying to like be a little bit more progressive and put the overlay added into OBS like you would like with a stream overlay or something like that. And ultimately it just didn't work the way I thought it was going to and I think it just lowered the quality of the, the phone gameplay. So I'll just have to go back to adding them in OBS but that's fine, it's not a problem. Or not in OBS, in uh, Premiere Pro. Right, he's dead. This is kind of more of just like a casual thing where I'm just talking, not even really about what's going on in the gameplay because, like, you know, it's boss rush. Dude. <laughs> Maybe if you wanted to see me try like a challenge run of boss rush of some sorts. 
like a no TUR build or something like, or LR build rather. And I just messed up my rotation. That's fine. <clears throat> That's definitely unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and watch our boy Goku dominate. So what was that? Three attacks there? This might be the first time we do not finish in one turn. I lied. <laughs> so that was a fucking lie. Look at all those rainbow worms, man. Golly! So how many can we get for, uh... So that's three, that's three. Same thing. These GT boys are fierce. I like them a lot. They're good little floaters. Neutral, I think the Vita should get the job done, especially if these guys double or triple super. Yeah, we're good. He doesn't have that much health. <sighs> Every time I want to record my videos, I'm at like 23%. Weird seeing this SA backwards. I'm so used to seeing it the one way. <laughs> Him and uh, Gogeta uh, during the six year anniversary were my two most used units. Should be interesting to see how that changes going into 2022. Um, if the seven year anniversary gives us our stats like they did on JP. I know they did it with Global, which was definitely uh, disappointing. But what are you going to do, right? It's especially interesting with like players that have been playing since like the one year, the two year anniversary, just to see what they've been using. Or it's like you know a lot of people you see like STR Super Gogeta or AGL Super Vegito just because of their leader skills and how busted they were at the time. I'm kind, I'm not really in that realm though. Like I got into Dokkan kind of late. Uh, I really started going hard in 2020. But obviously, um, to compensate for that, I've done a lot of summoning. So, you know, so you'll see like with my the box. So maybe one of these days, if people want to see it, I'll just go through my box, or whatever. But um, like a lot of Dokkan fests from like 2017 and 2016 are at like 55 or 69 percent. Meanwhile, I have Dokkan fests that came out in 2021 that are rainbowed already. So it's like. It's just how it goes. Like, I've yet to pull STR Janemba. I'm pretty sure both my Super Saiyan 4s are at 55%. They're just not on banners anymore. So there's only so much I can do. As much as I'd love to summon for them, I just can't. <laughs> and obviously, you know, it takes a... I don't even know what's the right word here. It's not wise to spend coins on you itself. You're not going to catch me buying Super Saiyan 4 fucking ATL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta for like 300 red coins or whatever he costs. Those are for the LRs, man. <laughs> I spent 1500 on MUI Goku to get that bad boy rainbow. I don't regret it at all. Already back up to 1000 It's bad. <laughs> all right. Hey, but these banners have treated me nicely. Uh, Goku's at 79% and uh, Frieza's at 55, so no complaints from me. 
I wasn't going to be able to go hard enough to rainbow them both, obviously. That's just not an option, really, on any Bell Contest banner. Like, a lot of these times, like, if you watch, like, the more, you know, the bigger summoning channels, you know, it takes five, six K stones to get this shit done, and I just can't afford to buy five K stones every celebration, unfortunately. <laughs> but I'm having a good time making content for this game, so... Whatever. It's one of those things where you just have to keep putting in the work, and eventually it will pay off. So, you know, if I can get out of it... Uh, I've, what I've been trying to aim for is daily uploads. Sometimes I do two or three a day, sometimes I do one every two or three days, it just depends on how it's going to be. When this video is done, this one is not going to be a, uh, it probably won't be done by midnight, unfortunately, but, you know, within the frame of, you know, 36 hours. And that clip, <laughs> that was a clutch crit from our boy, uh, Goku. So, I hope you enjoyed kind of like this little 16 minute, like, sit down and just talk. That's something, obviously, I could live stream, something like that, like where I can just talk to people on stream and shit like that. But, um, this isn't like a show off or a no item run or anything. It's literally just, all right, we ran Boss Rush with the Super Saiyan team. Got to use uh, two rotations that I'm a huge fan of. So, uh, let me know if you want to see, like, a challenge run for a Boss Rush or, like, an Infinite Dragon Ball History or something like that. Again, I got to preach it every video. Like, I need, to, I want to hear from people that watch these videos. I don't know how many of them come back to watch every time. A few people I know watch them, and they leave comments. They know who they are. Um, I want to thank you for watching if you did. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm out.